The first component that audio signals would have encountered in a typical 1960s session at Abbey Road would have been the console. Now, consoles, or desks as they'd have been called in Britain, were not yet the elaborate affairs we're familiar with these days. The massive boards like the classic SSLs and Neves that became the standards in the early multitrack era in the mid-70s, early 80s, and beyond. Many recordings in the mid-60s were still mixed primarily in mono, including most of the early Beatles albums, and consoles were a much simpler affair. Just preamps, maybe a little simple EQ, pan controls if the board was stereo, and faders. As stereo recording gradually took over, EMI Record Company tasked their in-house engineering department with designing a new console to address the modern studio needs of their flagship studio on Abbey Road. The Recording Engineer Development Department, RED for short, came up with a series of consoles that include the ones that Waves is modeled here. The RED 17 was an 8-channel desk with simple EQ on all channels and configuration suitable for mono and stereo busing. This was soon updated with a more flexible EQ as the RED 37, which also incorporated more flexible routing suitable for four-track recording. Now these were all tube consoles, and the key to their sound was the tube amplifiers, over 30 of them, used throughout. The RED 17 and RED 37, both modeled in this collection, used Siemens V72 tube amplifiers. In Britain they'd be called valve amplifiers. But apparently these were fairly pricey, so the RED division designed their own replacement, the RED 47 amp, which was used in the RED 51 console, the other model on tap here from Waves. The RED 47 amps were designed to offer lower distortion and greater headroom, and the RED 37 51 plug-in makes it easy to compare them, which I'll do in one of the next chapters. If you happen to have a vinyl copy of the Let It Be album, you'll see a nice shot of the Beatles sitting around one of the RED consoles. Eventually, the two-based RED consoles were replaced by solid-state designs, the TG series, with only a few of those original desks still floating around today. Fortunately, the Waves models do a nice job of capturing the warmth of those designs. So let's take a closer look, starting with the RED 17. <laughs> 